Hello, so today I'm going to be talking you through how to do data collection for the main alligator study. So what you firstly want to do is come to the red cap page, which you just get to by following this URL, then enter your username and password to log in. So once you've logged in, you just want to ensure that you come to the My Projects page, which is on the left hand side of the bar running across the top of the screen. So just make sure you come to this and then you should have access to a project um, that will be titled Alligator Data Collection. So if you just select this. The next step is to create a new record. So you want to go to the record status dashboard and here you can add a new record so for each new patient you'll add a new record so if you just click on this green button this will create a new record so next just click on the grey radio button next to starting page and you need to confirm whether you have the necessary permissions in place to allow you to collect alligator data for this study so it will not let you carry on with the study if you don't have the permissions in place. So just select yes and choose the data collection period that the patient underwent the appendicectomy. Um, you'll then have the option to enroll your patient in the sub studies, but I will speak through that in a separate video. So once you have filled this in, just mark this page as complete and then you can save and go to the next form. So once you come to the main data collection, you just need to fill in the form. Um, it's quite straightforward. So if there's any part that you're unsure about or you're not sure how to answer the question, you can refer to our data guide, which we have shared on our website, and that will give you some more clarity on how to answer these questions. So just ensure that for all questions that state you must provide a value, please ensure that you enter something in. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out. So again, once you've completed it, just mark it as complete and you can go on to the next form. So just carry on filling out this form for your patient and once again, anything that you are unsure of, please just refer to our data guide and that will give you some clarity on how to answer these questions. So just please ensure that once all the data is filled in, your marking forms is complete before moving on to the next form. And once again, just fill in everything as accurately as possible. And this is the final form, the 30 day follow up to be completed 30 days following operation. So once again, if you just fill this in. So once all the records are completed, they'll be marked as green um, and this just indicates that you have completely filled in all your data for your patient.